Hi everybody, it's me Brandy with Be Vintage Fashion and Decor. It's gonna take me some time to get used to saying that. In case you didn't watch my purse video that I posted recently, um, I changed one word in my title to better reflect um, my reselling because I do do both fashion pieces as far as jewelry and purses, um, but I also still do decor. So I still do the thrift with me and um, when I, when I get around to it in my DIYs. So I wanted to make sure that I kind of changed my channel name to better reflect that. So if you noticed that, you're very observant and I appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Brandy and I am a reseller, as I said, of both um, vintage items and fashion items. Vintage fashion is one of my favorite um, and home decor items. So today um, I have another 10 pound bag, 10 pound ish bag of the, um, from the 40 pound haul that I did recently at Salvation Army. And here's the thing. I started filming it, had it all ready to upload and edit and, um, noticed that when I pushed pause during one of my, uh, video stops that I had to do yesterday when little people came home off the bus, um, I continued to record, but I wasn't recording. It didn't have my record button. So I have to refilm all of this. So I apologize. I know basically now what's coming out of this bag and all the craft type items I actually already have set to the side, but I will show them at the end of the video because I do want you guys to see what was in craft. There were some good items. And then I also have a few things here from um, auction that I picked up. So if you're interested in any items, my email is always at the top of the screen. It's bevintage74 at gmail.com. And I do ship in the United States for a $5 flat fee. Anything out of the United States, I also ship internationally. Uh, just let me know where you are from and I will get you a price on shipping. So let's get started. Oh, and I do accept PayPal and Venmo. First up, these are, this I actually did pick up in the case at Salvation Army. It was priced separately. Um, I paid $7.99 for it. It's a beautiful, beautiful Lucite cuff. It's obviously not stretchable since it is a Lucite, but it does fit um, a little bit of a, a bigger uh, wrist. It's actually, actually I wanted to keep it and it's a little too big for me. I'm afraid it would very easily slip off. Um, the opening, however, is only about, I'm trying to find my tape measure and I don't know, it walked off somewhere. Some little person walked off with it. The opening is an inch and a half. Um, and I'm thinking that it may be like seven and a quarter, seven and a half inches inside. Um, but if you're interested in it, I can certainly measure that out for you and find out exactly what it is but I just wanted to make sure I showed it. It's gorgeous. I, I wish it fit me because it wouldn't even be shown. It would be mine. <laughs> okay, then I have, I got these at auction and um, they are sterling silver from Mexico. They are marked on the back. They're post earrings and they are about the size of a nickel, a little bigger than the size of a nickel. And they have like this gold tone here, like in, its, in an X shape. And then they have um, a silver all throughout the rest of it. And it's marked Mexico 925. And then it has some letters at the top that I know I can read when I polish this up, but right now, I think it says TP-16 is what I think, or 46. That's what I think it says and then Mexico 925. So these are really, really pretty. Very nice earrings. And then the other thing I got from auction would be these really pretty brooches. They're both Coro. Um, this one has all of its stones. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And if nobody claims it, it's going to go in my collection because it's beautiful. And it is marked coral right up here. And let me make sure it's not marked anything else. It's very hard to read it, but you can see it. Um, and I don't think it says anything else with it. 
So there's that one, there's the back of the brooch, and it is operational, operational, oper operational. <laughs> I don't know why I put a B in there. Oh man. And then um, this one is also a beautiful coral, but it is missing a stone here. And then it has a dead stone here. So the dead stone was originally lilac in color, but now is kind of a grayish color. So the dead stone is right here. Let's see, right there. You can see it's just a little darker. And then the one that's missing is right here, right there. Um, it's still gorgeous. And if you're into restoring and putting new rhinestones in, it's perfect. Um, if not, it's a beautiful, beautiful display piece, or you can still wear it and because it's really not noticeable. Oh, let me put those back in the bag. Where did I do with that other one? Okay. Now, then, this is the bag that I have. Lots of goodies in this bag. Lots of goodies. And then there are a few things that were tangled up that I kept out so that they wouldn't retangle. And then these, I actually, I actually am putting in a religious lot, but if you are interested in a religious lot, I have, or in any of these, I have all of these uh, rosaries. Um, I have some, this one here is from Italy. And then, um, but I did test it, it is not sterling. So I think they're pewter. And then um, the rest are plastic. And all the beads are plastic beads. So those will go into my religious lot. Okay, then I had these two bangles. This one, I tested them both. Cause I'm like, they, they could, I mean, I was pretty sure this was plastic. This one I wasn't sure about. And it, mainly because it kind of has like this film on it. Um, like a, you know, a film of dirtiness. Oops. And I apologize, my, my tablecloth is dirty because, like I said, I already filmed this once and um, in having to refilm it, I didn't want to change the tablecloth out because everything was still on it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking some semi-chrome polish and um, semi-chrome polish will test to see if something is Bakelite. So as you can see, it's a very soft pink color. And then when you do rub it on something that you suspect is Bakelite, it will turn from that pink color to almost like an ear, not to be gross, but almost like an earwax color or a, like a, as some people like to say, like a tobacco stain color, which is a much nicer thing to say than earwax, but truly it looks, it looks like gross earwax to me. Um, I did test this one. That one's just plastic, but this one, surprise, surprise, is Bakelite. And then you just want to clean that semi-chrome off of there. Um, so yeah, this one is a, a nice winner. Nice little Bakelite piece of jewelry that was very dirty. I think, honestly, I think, um, that this person probably smoked because it's got like that like almost almost like an actual tobacco stain on it but the part where I did rub I had rubbed before so it was already cleaned off beautiful okay so let me throw that away now these two necklaces they were I did not want to put them back in because they were they were tangled with each other and they still kind of are um, but they were badly tangled in a group of jewelry. Like there's still a knot in this one chain um, that I'm gonna have to get out. Okay, so I'll work on this. However, this cross, those are not diamonds. I did test them. Um, and I don't believe this was sterling either, but it's a pretty little cross. However, the chain is sterling. Um, yes, 925 for this dainty little chain. So it's a very pretty, I would keep the chain with the cross. Now this one here, at first I thought that was a black stone 
And this one is marked. I did not look at the marking on this one. This one says, it looks like it says KV overlay, but I don't, I'm probably not reading that correctly. Um, I don't see any other markings other than that. However, so this, I thought this, like I said, I thought it was like a smoky black stone. Um, but then when I picked it up and this is marked 925, correct? 925, yes, on the back of this bale. And then I saw when it caught the light, I'm like, oh, that's actually like got a purple tinge to it. It it's 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 got a gray tinge, but when you look through it and you see the white through it, it picks up that hint of purple. Um, so when I tested it, it actually came up. Well, it came up on the quartz, amethyst, and citrine line. So it could be a smoky quartz. Um, it could be an, an amethyst. I don't know because it actually does pick up that hue of like a deep purple. It's not going to come up on camera, I know, but um, it's and it's really pretty. It just needs to be polished up because it is tarnishy, but it's a beautiful pendant. I'm still leaning towards the smoky quartz. However, when I do this with it, I can see that purple in there. So I don't, any of you that know more about quartz than me, chime in. Maybe you do know of like a, a dark colored amethyst like that. Um, I know amethyst comes in all sorts of colors. That's pretty dark. Okay, then this one I did also not put back in the bag because it was, it was a nightmare to get everything untangled from this thing. Um, that this is a nice long necklace and it is by the brand Graziano. So it is a Graziano necklace and it's got multi chains and then it's got these clear plastic beads in there and um, all sorts of fun detail in this necklace but and it's long and it's got a good heavy weight to it as well too but I am not going to put that back in the bag because I do not want that to get tangled up all right now on to the good stuff here in the bag not that that's not good stuff but on to the what you want to see, right? Everything being pulled out. So I had two, I'm gonna pull them out. I had two glass bead bracelets. These are like a soft pink color, almost like marble looking, right? They look like marbles. And then I had these as well, and these are all glass beads. They definitely need, this one, well, this one's pretty stretched out. This one's like starting to feel like it could burst. So. They definitely need to be repurposed or restrung into something else, but I would do them separately, however, at the same price. Okay. I love these. These are so cute. These are some Christmas earrings. They're not marked, um, and they're not silver, but they are so pretty. They have little colored rhinestones going up the tree like they're ornaments or lights um one second you guys hold on okay sorry I hate to stop the video but had to stop it for something important now I'm back all right let's see where were we um here it's an adorable clamp bracelet and it is a dolphin, and then it's got um, two little rhinestones for eyes. Very pretty. And it's got really good clampage still. Oops, this one's getting tangled. Okay, we'll do this one first, this multi-chain, since it's in my hand. Um, it is marked, what does that say? Well, it's just marked Korea. So Korea. And it's just a fashion necklace in gold. It is um, a vintage necklace. And it does have um, just like these little stopper beads 
know, stationary beads, I should say. Multi-chain, very pretty color. No, it doesn't show any signs of wear. And then here, I know this is not the original um, chain with this. However, I'm gonna leave it on there because this is actually more of a bronzy color. And then this is silver. But um, just so somebody has something to wear it on because this is so cute. It's an elephant. It's on like a pressed tin. And then it's um, like enameled. It's not painted, it's enameled. Oops, the glare there, there we go. Isn't that cute? And it's big too, look how big that is. Nice size. Here we got some pin art um, by Spoon Teaks. And it is just this cute little enameled stocking. Nobody wants to probably think about that time of year right now, but um, never too early, right? And um, it's new on card, so it's a great little gift. Um, cute stocking with rhinestones. All right, this. Is, I had to look this up because this is a really interesting necklace. I didn't see anything exactly like it. Um, however, this brand, I think it says Silka, or it's pronounced Silica. No, there's not an I there. So it's S-Y-L-C-A, Silka. Um, and it's got this tortoise shell choker chain and then this toggle that goes through this piece. And I'm thinking, this is some type of shell. I don't know what kind of shell it is. Um, I mean, this is obviously a faux tortoise shell. And um, I don't know, I don't know what this is. It's, it's not, it, it doesn't look like any type of, um, I mean, it feels real. It doesn't look like a, a, like a faux tortoise shell or anything like that but it almost feels maybe like it could be coconut or some other type of nut family type of shell. And then it's got this toggle, which does not fit in any of the obvious spots you would think it would fit in. I don't know if it's missing something the else that should have been hanging from these two, but this does go through here. And I did check it around my neck and it comes to kind of that uh, right down above my collarbone. So it's not quite a choker choker, um, but it does sit high on the neck. Very nice. If any of you have heard of that brand, I mean, I know it's out there. I've seen other necklaces, um, but it's not anything like that one. All right, so this, this actually was brand new. It had like a, um, it still had the film covering on it to cover these, these gold pieces from getting scratched up. Um, they are in excellent condition. It's got these nice tassels. This part is movable. However, it doesn't stay. So I can't imagine, you know, I don't I think it's, I don't know why it's there and why it's movable because it also has a clasp that's adjustable for the length. So it's not like you need this to adjust it. But I guess maybe if you wanna put this in the back and just wear it like that. It is a J-Lo. And it has the cute little heart um, closure, like I said, adjustable length. And then there is the JLo tag. Yep. Okay. This is just a nice little fashion necklace. And I'm sorry you guys aren't getting to see my my reactions when I first pulled these out. Um, hate that when it happens, but I guess you know that's life. You forget, to, you forget to push play. Um, but this is yeah, this is just a cute little black and gold fashion piece, and it's lightweight. It's not a heavy one, um, so it's probably like a charming Charlie's or one of those type. It doesn't have a hang tag though, but it's it's indicative of that kind of quality. Um, it's not a higher end piece by any means. Okay, this, I just thought this was so pretty and I believe that the findings on this are sterling. These beads are just really pretty. They, these are separate from the center squares. And then um, when I did test, it, it's a crafter's piece or an artisan piece, but when I did test, they did come back as sterling findings. 
Okay, this necklace does not have a maker's mark. It is so delicate, I love it. Um, I don't know if this is sterling. I believe it could be, I did not test it. Um, I will, I'm gonna set this to the side and test it. I don't, I don't know if it is. It, it's not marked, but it looks like it could be just from being tarnished, but I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to look too. But it's very um, Victorian inspired, isn't it? You would think it would be a 1928, I mean, maybe, but I think it's actually somebody made it because of the way the clasp is. Or they repaired the clasp, one of the two. This is such a cute ring. It was it was um, on a like an artisan card, and I took it off of the card. But it is a disc with a button that's kind of covered, a piece of tool here which you could remove if you didn't want the tool, and then a an AB crystal rhinestone, and then look at the side of this. Isn't that pretty? And then it is a size. Mm, it's like a six and a half it, it and it can be a little adjustable you know just a little bit not super adjustable but it can definitely be squeezed in or out a little tiny bit isn't that cute and this is like a fabric I mean it's it's woven on there it's not just a piece of fabric but just so you know okay I have a little bag of sterling rings here too I'll get to those in a little bit this is a cute little bracelet and it's just a simple it's not marked anything right correct no it's just a simple little silver toned bracelet and same with this one this is just a cute little I did test this too and it's not silver but it's very um almost like Aztec looking, Southwestern looking. And it has like these clear beads in the center there. And then it's got this really cute little closure with the star on it. But no maker's mark at all. And these are kind of soft pastel colors. Sorry to get a drink. I debated about keeping this because this is totally up my alley. Um, oh, it's marked. Oh, it's a Monet. I just now saw the mark. So it's a Monet stretch. Love, love, love. Isn't that so pretty? The more I wear it, the more I want it. But somebody buy it so that I don't keep it because I don't, I don't need it, but I really like it. So if nobody buys it, I will keep it. But yes, Monet stretch still has really good stretch to it really pretty. So this was on a necklace with a bunch of other um, charms. The other charms ended up in craft. This one I kept because um, it's almost like a like a, a fist um, but the one finger looks a little longer. It doesn't actually look like a closed fist but it's a it's carved wood and then it's got this silver band around there and then silver down here but it's not it's not sterling, but I just thought it was very unique. And it was hanging, um, obviously it hangs this way from a charm bracelet or a, as a pendant. All right, here we have, how did this get tangled? I did not move this bag other than to dump it right now. So how did you all get tangled again? This is just a um, fun little fashion piece. These are not real coral or turquoise, but it's not marked. It's on this really nice condition suede. Um, and then it does have a, uh, a clasp, a lobster clasp, and this wooden heart, wooden bead. So even if you wanted it to pick apart and make something else out of it, um, this looked like maybe it had a little tassel or something to it and it was cut off so I could always remove that for you if you wanted me to or you could leave it on there and use the jump ring for something else okay really really that tangled already 
This necklace I've already untangled twice now. How does it even get tangled like that? Um, I don't, this brand, it's got this really pretty hang tag and I tried looking this brand up and I could not find it, what I think it says. I think it says E, oh, it might be E-T-T. -T. I thought it was E-L-L. -L. So it's E-T-T-I-K-A, I believe. Etika. I'm going to look that up real quick. Etika. Let's see. Etika necklace. There we go. So it's obviously just a fashion necklace. Um, but their stuff actually resells very well. So here's one that they have that's similar to this one. However, it has like one more, let's cover her chest up there. Yeah, there. It has one more uh, coin and they actually have this one listed uh, at, on Etika for $45. So very nice. This is very pretty. Here is a really pretty cross with AB crystals. And it is not marked. There's the back of it. It's a more modern piece. And it's on this really nice long chain that you could just actually slide right over your head if you wanted to, because it's a nice size, nice length. another one that was not untangled and now it's tangled. So this is very pretty because this looks vintage. Um, and whether it is or not, I don't know. Now the chain that's back here does show some coppering from where it was on someone's neck. However, the suede is in really good condition and the beads also are in oops, very good condition. Look how pretty that rose is. Very nice. This is um, what I love to call just dance jewelry or prom jewelry or bridal jewelry. It's I love how it's in the shape of almost like a like a horseshoe. Um, so actually, when it would sit on your neck, it would be more of more of an open horseshoe style. There we go. Very pretty piece of. Um, bridal jewelry or just dressier jewelry and it's got these nice rhinestones it has a nice weight to it this is not like a Claire's piece it has a little a little more substantial weight to it and is better constructed I mean you can see down there the way the pearls are set um, they're not they're they're not just stuck on there you know cheaply if that makes sense I mean, it's definitely a more modern, more more modern piece, but it's not. It doesn't feel chintzy. That's what I'm trying to say. Like I, I would feel comfortable giving that to a bride. This is gorgeous, and I debated whether to keep this or not. I'm gonna put it out there for the world to see if anybody wants it. But it's so pretty. <laughs> Look at how gorgeous that is. So pretty. Definitely a vintage brooch. Oh my gosh, this. The color in that is amazing. It's a Tiffany blue. There's the back. The brooch does work, the pin. Um, it's so pretty. Look at the size of that too. Love it, love it, love it. Here is another brooch, which is also definitely vintage. And um, this one, there we go, hangs like this. It has like this caged cabochon, black cabochon in there. Can you see it? And then these lovely, lovely tassels, metal tassels and chandelier type draping. And then on the back, it's got the um, pin. It's almost like a filigree back here. So pretty. Then this 
must have gone with that other bracelet that I had before that was marked 80. Um, and I'm, I believe that's the type of um, silver that it is. This is a nice weight um, piece of jewelry. It has a, a good solid, it's a solid piece of jewelry. And if it wasn't so small, I would honestly think it was a man's bracelet um, because of the weight on it, but it is not. I mean, it's, it's on the smaller side. Let's see how long it is. It is seven and a half total with the shepherd's hook. And like I said, it is, it is silver and it's marked 80 on each side. So that it's probably standing for 800 silver. However, I'm not hundred percent sure of that. This is a single earring. I don't have the other one. However, I know, and these, these Rivolis are, they have a little bit of doink right on the tip of the Rivoli, like a, like a, like a little bit of wear, but, um, it's a gorgeous earring and I think somebody could make something so pretty out of this. So I don't know if I have the other one. I'm going to set it aside. I did find one of the earrings that I actually sold um, as a single earring. I did find the other one. Um, it's not in this bag. It's in another one. So when I get to that one, I will let that person know. Um, and if they don't want the other one, then um, I will certainly uh, sell it to somebody else. But this uh, necklace I thought was sterling and I don't think it tested as sterling, but um, it's got these gorgeous, it's definitely vintage and it's probably from like the maybe late eighties, early nineties. It's got these really great, um, almost like cat's eye, but in, you know, black cat's eye kind of thing. They're really cool. And I believe these are glass beads, right? I believe they're glass beads, yes. Speaking of cat's eye, look at this. Isn't that, this is some, um, it's just, I, 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 this is a gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. It's, uh, tiger's eye. Very, very pretty. I'm, my brain is like, I need some more coffee or something. Every day I need more coffee, but <laughs> my my brain is uh, looking for words. Isn't that so pretty? And usually when I find them, they're, you know, single or they're broken or it's just in the form of a bracelet. But this has, is such a beautiful necklace and it's got such a great weight to it. I love that. So this is a an Asian, um, there's an Asian scene on the front and then on the back is like this, uh, almost like a Chinese checker kind of pattern as far as like, if you look closely at the stars, there's little, you know, like how a Chinese checkerboard is. And on the front, I can't tell what they're doing. They almost look like maybe they are playing around. I don't know, but it's a keychain. And it is, I believe, bone. And then it's like the scenes you can tell are shellacked on. And then there's the keychain. So it's definitely an old keychain. And speaking of keychains, here's another one. This one says the key is carrying social work. And it's got this red stone. It would be pretty made into even a pendant for somebody who is a social worker. Um, or kept as a keychain. Okay, now this necklace, I am not sure yet. There will not be a price on this one yet because I need to find out a little bit more about this piece. I mean, eventually it will be for sale. However, um, if you're interested in it, let me know. I just need to look into it a little bit more. If anybody knows, I haven't had a chance yet to look up what these stones might be. They are stones. And then the necklace, the gold is actually 12 carat. No, 14 carat, I'm sorry, 14 carat. It is not plated, it is 14 carat. 
I don't know if these are, I have not tested these. But like I said, I mean, these they're smooth. They're not like lava stone where they're rough. Those are smooth um, Dalmatian looking stones. And then these are like almost like a terracotta kind of stone. It's so pretty though. Um, but I definitely need to look more into this one. But if you're interested, let me know and um, I can let you know when I know, when I know more. All right, so here I have a seed bead, just the stretch um, clamp cuff style seed bead bracelet. I love this one. I think I just think this is so pretty for summer. It has look at that awesome clasp on it, and it has these wooden beads. These I believe over here are um, some type of glass or ceramic kind of bead. Um, but then this is definitely some type of wood as well as these larger ones and these possibly these smaller ones too. I'm not, those might not be wood. These ones actually might be the same as the, the other beads. Um, but they're carved. It's carved on both sides. And I just, I don't know. I just picture this with a great sundress or even a white t-shirt or tank um you know to add that like you have a very basic top and then add that pop of um interest to your outfit it's it's so much fun i love this so pretty okay enough about that right okay this is a beautiful pendant it is not sterling um i'm pretty sure yes i did test this it's not sterling and it has some type of agate in the middle. And it's just a really, it's a nice heavyweight pendant. Oops. Okay, these earrings, the plastic on the backs are marked RMN. And I believe those are original to the earrings. So I believe these are RMN earrings. They have this really pretty um, sapphire color blue hanging bead and then these are um, rhinestone encrusted all the way up this is just a little charm bracelet that needs some charms put to it and um, it's pretty let me see I can measure it for you guys too to see what it is pretty long. It is probably about nine inches long. So it's pretty long and obviously can be cut down. So if anybody needs a charm style bracelet, there you go. I didn't test this one. I don't know if this is sterling or not. Let me just scratch it and see. Might be worth testing it, but I just thought this was a really pretty cuff. It, I don't see a marking on it anywhere. No, it is not. It went away right away. Um, but it is a really nice looking um, cuff that you can, you can adjust it. Very Wonder Woman. Okay. This is this marked? This I did not have out before because it was in a baggie. Um, a baggie with some other stuff. Actually, this and this were both in a baggie with some other little things. But this, this pearl in the center here, I don't know, it's set in there with a lot of prongs. So that possibly could be a real pearl. Not sure, but I don't see any markings and it doesn't seem to look like it's gold filled. So it could just be a really nice piece of costume jewelry on this brooch. And then this little guy is carved in, says mom, perfect for Mother's Day, right? And then it's a little pin, little brooch. So I just think that's cute. Speaking of brooches, this breaks my heart because it is a Coro. 
it is such a nice heavyweight brooch in it, but it is missing a few stones. It's missing four stones. One here, two big ones here, and then this center one. Um, the center moves a little bit, but it's, oh, and one back here too. So it could definitely be restored if somebody wanted to restore it. It's such a pretty brooch too, it's so sad. So this is a mid-century brutalist type of pendant on this long chain. And um, it is not marked that I can see unless they are hiding it very well somewhere or it is a handmade artisan type of piece. I didn't test this one to see if it was sterling either. I probably, I probably should do that because it is scraping very nicely. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, if wishes were fishes, right? Because this is heavy. That would have been great if it was, but it is not. Still a very pretty piece though. Love, I love this one. I want to pull this out so you guys can see this one. I think this is such a nice quality necklace. I mean, everything in here is nice, but I don't know. I There's something about, it's a Jones, New York. There's the Jones, New York tag. And I, I just, I love the, I love the adjustable toggle. The wire is in excellent condition because it's like that thick gauge wire. It's silver gold um, intermixed. There's three different wires. And then it's got this kind of nice brushed gold pendant. It's really pretty. All right, this one is not marked. It's on like this rosary style with these cute little yellow and clear rosary style beads. And then this pendant has this nice yellow colored stone. Very cute. Here's some gold tone earrings. Oops, they're um, like a hoop style earring. And they have like a geometrical shape to them. All right, this little pendant on here is just nothing, so just ignore it. I just have to get it off if somebody doesn't want it. But this chain is so cool because it is actually a, um, you can't see it on film, but it is actually like an oil spill um, chain. It, it You can see the rainbow of colors in the chain. So you can kind of see it. You see the blue there, the yellow, the green, there we go, the light's picking it up there. Yeah, so it's just a really interesting chain. Speaking of oil spill, that one, this one. I did test this one that I had in a bag a while ago. And um, the, the chain is actually sterling. And I took off that little windy part to it and just kept this part on there. But same thing as that rainbow effect. But I just think it's a really interesting piece of jewelry. Definitely an artisan made piece of jewelry. So I figured I'd show you that one. These pearls, they are actually, they're very heavy. And I was like, why are these pearls so heavy? I mean, heavy. And that's because they're actually magnets. <laughs> so it's a magnetic bracelet, um, but it's it looks like a pearl, like a pearl bracelet. So you get the benefits of the magnet, um, but yeah, it's it's not pearl. 
Anyways, that was just kind of, it was kind of funny because it, it threw me for a loop there when I first pulled them out. Speaking of pearls, we'll just go to this one. This is just a nice um, fashion pearl necklace from Korea. Faux pearls, totally smooth, but in really nice condition. And then here is another pearl necklace that vintage clasp, very indicative of like a, a Japanese style piece of jewelry, um, but it could be an artisan piece, I'm not sure. Definitely, most likely vintage. And then it's just this wrapped pearl, gold and um, white pearls. See what I can grab next that's not all twisty and tangled. Okay. This one is marked and it is a also an RMN and it also has cluster pearl beads and then these like like uh champagne color pearl faux pearls and then these amber colored faceted beads and then it's on this multi-chain which is like a bronze color so it's supposed to be that color now this chain is sterling it is marked up here on the um, finding that it is sterling and it's a ball chain but it looks really good, excuse me, with a pendant on it. And it's a nice heavyweight sterling chain. So it would be good with like a, I'm looking for a more substantial pendant, but it would be good with like a more substantial, thicker pendant on it. Like that one that had the agate, that would be good on there. Okay, I know everybody loves these multicolored pieces of, multi mixed metals so these are mixed metal in some feathers look at that and then it's on this uh, cordage that is it's like a faux leather cordage and it's in great condition there's the back we're getting there getting down Oh, come here, little brooch. Let's do you next. So she's a cutie. She's got some blue rhinestone eyes. She's like a little praying angel. And she is definitely vintage. There's her pin. Her pin does work. And she is marked um, Beatrice. That's right. Be is it Beatrice? They put it like really honestly, yes, Beatrix, right underneath the, the pin. So you can barely see what it says. You gotta like look up under the pin. Okay, here is a Leah Sophia. No, is it Leah Sophia? No, it is not. I lied. It's a Kenneth Cole. I thought I knew what it was. Kenneth Cole, if you love purple, this is for you because it's the shades of purple all on there. They look dark on camera, but they're all different shades of purple. And then it's got this nice, kind of medium length chain. So it kind of hang like maybe above the bust line. All right, this one is a Claire's dance jewelry. Pretty rhinestones, but it's it actually feels like a vintage piece. It has a very nice weight to it. Um, and it actually, like I said, it feels like a nice vintage piece. There's the back of it. But lo and behold, there's the Claire's tag. So it's probably vintage. It probably, you know, could be from the nine, late 90s, mid to late 90s. Because it definitely didn't look like a recent Claire's tag. This is just a really pretty herringbone necklace in great condition beautiful color still on it. It is not marked at all, but just a very pretty piece. 
and it's a shorter one too, probably around 16 inches. Here's some, a nice modern fashion piece. It's, a, it's got a nice weight to it, and then it's got these really pretty, almost like arrowhead rhinestones, and the chain is graduated. Seed bead, um, it's still in good condition. This one up here is a little loose in the knot, but um, not noticeable. And then it is on this um, cordage, which is still in good condition, but I wanted, you to sh I wanted to show you right there. That's kind of where the seed beads attach to it. Um, and obviously it would be, you know, under, you wouldn't have to have it show, but just so you know, it shows a little bit on those two spots. And then here's the rest of the necklace. These actually clean up beautifully um, in my cleaner, in my Sonic cleaner. It really gets those seed beads clean. All right, so here, I actually had stretch bracelets that matched this, I think, in the last video. Uh, these are some Baroque pearls, and they are real pearls. You can see the imperfections in the shape of the pearl, and they are in this kind of gray, almost like a gasoline or oil spill um, coloration, because there's like purples, grays, and blues greens very pretty this is just a crafters artisans piece but it's got some really nice beads on it and then this is a lucky brand and it looks brand new and it's on this navy blue, looks black, but it's navy blue cordage. And the cordage, it's a suede cord in good condition. And those are in excellent condition. Oh, we might have a ways to go. Mm. Let me see if I can go a little faster so we can get through the whole bag. I don't want you to get mad at me that it goes too long. Okay, this is definitely a vintage rose. Um, I've sold similar pieces to this, and then I don't know if they, this is original to it or not, the pearl um, part of it. The stretch on it seems pretty good if it were vintage. So I think that they actually put a hole in it and put this on it, but it's still, it's a very pretty little bracelet. This I did not know what to make of because it's definitely an older piece. I just, I don't get, I don't get this type of closure. I'm sure that's, I know it's vintage. I'm sure it was something that was in style back then. I just don't see the fascination with, with that, but um, it's definitely a nice older necklace. So if you're really into that era of like West German um, type of jewelry, that's what this is kind of indicative of to me. And that's what these beads actually kind of feel like um, in quality. This little clamp bracelet, um, it does have some wear on it, but I thought it was still in good enough condition to hold on to and somebody might still like to wear it. So I'll set that aside. A little angel pin with some red wings. Okay, this necklace, it's a really long, I mean, look at this, really long necklace. And it is, it's got a really nice clasp to it. It's a Liz Claiborne. You can see it's marked right inside that shepherd's hook there. The thing that throws me off about this, I mean, there's a little bit of wear on this cabochon, but then back here it says stone. Like there should have been a different stone on the back. Maybe this gold tone was on the back so you could reverse it. Um, you could still put a different cabbage on there or just leave it um, because you probably would just wear it this way anyways if you didn't have anything on the back. But the necklace itself, I mean, it's, it's a nice heavy weight necklace and it's still in great condition. I love this 
this is actually sugar fix it's marked right in here sugar fix and I mean look at this it's so pretty so pretty I'm so tempted to keep this one I love this I'm gonna keep it on <laughs> all right this is a nice painted wooden bracelet um, you could do so much with this either wear it as is or even craft with it because it is painted on um, it would be a nicer smoother kind of surface to to do something on but it's got some really pretty colors speaking of clampers here is a Werner clamp style watch I do not know if it works it's not working currently um, it's got some rhinestones around the face but I'm sure if you've popped a watch battery in there, it would probably most likely work. Most people are donating the watches now just because they don't wear them anymore and they just don't wanna replace the battery. And I unfortunately do not yet know how to replace batteries. One day I will learn, but not today. This is a studio brand and um, it is a clamper as well. It's a little uneven back there on the clamp part, you see that? but I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be so that it's, it sits properly. Two-toned, two I think, on that one. These are so pretty. They're, it's a stretch bracelet, it's got good stretch, pretty like Tiffany blue, plastic stones, rhinestones, and then these silver balls. Here's another watch. This one, I will tell you, is probably going to need new elastic soon. Um, because it is a little stretched out, but it's a very nice watch. It's called Swap. So probably just an artisan piece. This cuff is marked pewter and it's 9-006 um, made by Kirk Pewter and it's the rose is what it's called. So the pattern on it is a rose pattern. And I am getting really over in my time. So let me just pull a few other things that I, I know people would probably want to see. And I might just have to save the rest of it. We'll just do this. And I will put the rest of this, oh, this one too. Going off of kind of what I know people like to buy. Um, and I'll save the rest of it, I guess, for my next video because I'm getting really long. Here's a nice glass pendant. It's just a tiny little one. Here is another bracelet that I absolutely love. This is actually a Charming Charlie's bracelet um, in excellent condition. Isn't that like it's so studio anymore? I love it. It's almost like a metal mesh feeling. Um, there's the Charming Charlie tag, but it's in great condition. Still very wearable. I love this. Oh my gosh. This is Mother of Pearl. Look at that. With this sterling toned, um, might even, I don't even know. No, I don't think it's sterling, but it's, it's silver toned with rhinestones and it's a pendant. So pretty. Here's a nice clamper in this ivory color. Rhinestones are all in it. Love it. I love the size of this one too. It's got a really, it's got a really nice size. This is an Alex and Ani style, but it's a uh, soul, soul feel New York and it's faith, feel, feel the love. I'm sorry, feel the love. And it's got the, I like the, I like the slides on these. It's got character to it. Okay, two, three more things. This is actually a 1928 brand necklace. Look at how pretty. Look at the colors in that. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. And it is a little darker back in here where it would have, you know, sat on someone's neck. Um, but overall, it's that antique gold look anyways, so you really don't, unless you're looking, looking for that, you don't recognize that. 
I love this. I think it's so pretty. It is not real as far as this is not real turquoise. This is not real coral. It is a fashion piece of jewelry. Um, there's the back of it. You can totally tell by the back and the feel of the silver, but it is very, I mean, when that's, when you're wearing it, it, um, oops, it's a stunning piece of jewelry and it does not look, you know, like it's a fake piece of jewelry as far as fake turquoise. And then this is a magnetic brace, uh, bracelet and, um, it is stainless steel. And I just, I think that pattern on that is gorgeous. It's black enamel with, um, it want, it's like wanting to look like rhinestones there, but it's not, it's just like a, a pebble pattern. And then gold. Isn't that pretty? And guess what? I ordered some, a new tripod to, so I could get an overhead view, hopefully of my jewelry so that it will stop some of the blurriness from when I get close. So have no fear, that's coming up hopefully in my next video. All right, that's it for today, guys, since I am going so far over. Um, however, I will show you in the next video the rest of that bag and the stuff that I had in craft too, because I know a lot of people like the craft lot stuff. And um, I will let you know also on this necklace what, what the price is on that. It may not be in the uploaded video, but because um, I'd like to hear back from some of you as to what stones these may possibly be. And I think that was the only one I really had to check on. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay safe and stay beautiful, and I'll see you in the next one.